Hello friends, this is another video for extrinsic pathway of apoptosis where we will be discussing its fast path. Since we have already discussed the TNA path, the link pops up here. If you want to see that, you can click above. So getting to the fast path. As the first apoptotic signal in this pathway is received by a fast receptor present on the target cell, which comes out to be first apoptotic signal, that's fast path. That's why from it gets its name. In this fast pathway, we have two different cells. One is the target cell, which is going to be killed by the process of apoptosis. And we have another cell in that process called a signaling cell, which is going to kill the target cell through a signaling molecule. And here in that case, signaling molecule is fast ligand. The signaling cell is basically here the immune system cell, that's cytotoxic T lymphocyte. This cell expresses a protein called fast ligand, as I have already told you, fast ligand is a first apoptotic signaling molecule. And it's this ligand which initiates, which sparks the apoptosis through a series of reactions. The fast ligand will go and bind to the target cell through a fast receptor present on target cell. And this binding drives off the further reactions to kill the cell through a process called apoptosis. Now let's see in detail how the cytotoxic T cell initiates the process of apoptosis on target cells. Diagrammatically we can see we have cytotoxic T cell and to that very cell there is a bound fast ligand which is a signaling protein in apoptosis. While on the other hand we have a target cell which needs to be eliminated via apoptosis. And to that cell there is a fast receptor on its membrane sometimes also called as apoptosis antigen 1 and this fast receptor acts as a death receptor so when the fast ligand and fast receptor binds together the binding sends the first apoptotic signal and also remember here that fast receptor protein has got death domain in its intracellular part as you can see here so after that binding and interaction between ligand and receptor molecule there is a recruitment of FAD adapter molecule. FAD stands for fast associated protein with death domain. And this FAD molecule comes in and binds towards the death domain of fast receptor like this. The death effector domain of FAD molecule further recruits a molecule called Procaspase 8, which gets activated into its active form, that's Caspase 8. And finally, we have a bunch of molecules existing together that's activated fast receptor, fad adapter molecule, its unmasked death effector domain, and a caspase 8 enzyme. These all form a single complex molecule called DISC disc. That's death inducing signaling complex. From here, the cascade for apoptosis starts in. So the cascade starts when the caspase 8 gets released from death inducing signaling complex, that's DISC. And this caspase 8 further cleaves the pro-caspase 3 into its active form, that's caspase 3. And finally, the caspase 3 acts on apoptotic substrates that are in inactive state, like caspase-dependent DNAs, proteolytic enzymes, and other enzymes, and converts them into its active apoptotic effectors, like activated DNAs here, activated proteolytic enzymes, which degrades DNA and nuclear lamina respectively and eventually there is a cell death. So this is all about extrinsic pathway apoptosis through fast ligand. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.